Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, welcome to part two of my tier list. On the first part, we um, we did from zero up until the four remake, and today we'll be doing five, six, seven, and eight. Now, if I'd have put some forethought into it, I would have split part one and two and made them a bit equal because. Part 1 had, what, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and this has only got 4. But, my lovely wife came up with the idea while I was in the middle of my video, so, I want to do the mainline series and then the rest of them, and Code Veronica last, because it needs a lot of talking about. Um, so let's kick things off with Resident Evil. Five. Um, now, a lot of people don't like Five. There was a lot of controversy like, oh, it's in the daylight, it's not as dark and dingy, but like, the palette of it as well, it's very brown. But then, we are in Africa and in like a rural village, so would you expect there to be like loads of bright colours and stuff, you wouldn't really, would you? Um, I mean, I don't know, I've never been to an African village, so I might be wrong, but... Um, and there was another controversy of the fact that you're a big white dude going around killing black people. Now, that was a controversy that I feel has been debunked and put to the side. It's like, he's not going there specifically to kill them, it just happens to be where the next virus is, no one said in four, oh, you're killing Spanish people, you know what I mean, um, but I just need to mention it, because it was a controversy at the time, uh, and obviously you've got a co-op partner, co kind of, going back to Resident Evil Zero, um, obviously another person can play as Shiva, um, she's a native, um, so, that's where I feel like, you know, what, what are you going to say about her killing Africans? Because she is an African character. Um, then you can point out that maybe that she's not very good. But I think that's just, that's just the, that's just poor AI. It's got nothing to do with um, her as a character. It's just the AI. Which has just made me realise that in Resident Evil 4, I never mentioned about the fact of how bad of a character and annoying Ashley is. Shiva's ten times better. Because all you ever hear is, Leon, 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 oh god. Just the thought of it and the memories of it is just, I just don't like Ashley as a character, I think they made her... You could say it's detrimental to women, because she's just this damsel in distress, and then at the end of the game she hits on you, and it's like, <laughs> what's going on with this character? But we're talking about five. Um, I like five. It's the last appearance of Wesker that I know of. Um, you've got the boulder punching, <laughs> which is just ridiculous. It's just it's just so silly, but it's brilliant at the same time. Um, I really enjoy Five. I like the story. Okay, as I said before, I'm more of a fan of the zombies than the kind of puppets to a like a like a. These are the Gonados. The other one's Las Plagas. That's what Four is. I got it wrong in the last video. Um, just to correct myself, um, yeah, like it's just like it's the they put the like that creature thing in people's mouths, don't they? And okay, that's a bit, but I like it. I enjoy it. I think it's fun. I have a blast playing it. I like, I like the game, and because I like the game. And this is my tier list. I'm going to put it in A. I think it's better than 3 Remake. So yeah. I 
love is an evil fault, even though I'm not afraid to admit it. Now, we come up to a very controversial entry in Resident Evil 6. Um, this is another one of the ones that my wife loves this game. Um, I remember just a quick reminiscent story. I remember when we were just first started dating and um, she didn't have a she had it on 360 and I had it, but she didn't have a headset, so we used to sit there playing the game on the phone, and it was at the point where, remember phone contracts where you could go up to an hour, and after an hour, it wouldn't be part of your allowance, they'd charge you for it, so we'd like go up to like 50 odd minutes, then I'd put the phone down, and then I'd call her back, but, so I have good memories of the game, I just think the game is not very good. Um, I think it's really just not very good. I like the Leon bit, because they brought back the zombies, but then the rest of it, it's like, you've got Jake, which is Wesker's son, who never seems to ever get mentioned again, and he's doing jumps on a motorbike over a helicopter, and I just it just gets silly. Like, I like the fact that they brought back um, Sherry, you know, and they bring and they try to introduce new characters, but the only one that really stuck was Leon, and obviously Chris is in it as well. Um, I think Piers got a bad rap. I do kind of like Piers. Um, I think that Piers, they could find a way to bring him back. I like the character. Um, you saying about the characters, you do have Ada, but. I don't like her campaign. I think her campaign is just boring. I think the Sherry and Jake campaign's boring. The Chris one's okay. The Leon, Leon one is the best. Because um, they kind of had like one really good character. And then a bit of a mm, character as the second character. Sorry about that. Um, back to six. I just think it's just a poor game. I think four took it in an action route. Five kind of... I feel like it was the same kind of action. And then six just went silly and over the top. And the fact you can pause it either. You can't pause. I hate games that you can't pause. Unless it's an online game. Like a multiplayer game. You should be able to pause it. This is essentially a co-op. And you can't pause it. And it does my head in. Now, I have a plan for an F, for what's going in F. E and D, I feel it's a bit harsh, so I'm going to put it in C, because it's, it's a middle-of-the-road game. It's it's a decent game, but a poor Resident Evil game, in my opinion. And I just can't see myself... It's not a game that I'm like, Another game that I'm like, oh, I've got to play Resident Evil 6. I just, nah, it's not it. I'll, unless I play it again with my wife, it's not a game that I play. Um, and then we are moving on to a Resident Evil 7. <clears throat> now, obviously Resident Evil had gone in an action orientated way. Uh, there weren't any puzzles, it was just pure action. Resident Evil kind of 7 kind of reigned that in a lot. And I'm thankful for that. I really like Resident Evil 7. I think 7's a really good game. I really enjoy it. I like the story, I like the characters, the Baker family and the fact that you have to you have to go off and defeat each member of the Baker family. Um Ethan Ethan as a character uh, He's not he's not very fleshed out. His motivation is his motivation in this is I need to find my wife. Oh there she is. Oh, something's wrong with her. It's it's just not a very good character. He's not a very good main character. Like, 
you've got Jill, Chris, Claire, Leon, even going to Rebecca, Billy, uh, Sherry. You know, they are all better than Ethan. I mean, he's not as bad as Ashley. <laughs> he is nowhere near as bad as Ashley, but... <coughs> I just think Ethan's not that great of a character. Like, in this, he's he's alright. He's, he's, he's perfectly fine for this game. Um, uh, the lack of enemies is a bit annoying. you kind of got them, like, black leech creature things. Not to be confused with the ones in Zero. But they're kind of similar to Zero, and... While they can be terrifying, like especially when they're chasing after and you're trying to take them out, they're just they're just not that. They're not that bad. And then I think this is where this game falls because I know with the other ones you just have zombies, and then maybe a boss type character, but at least the zombies were like. The, the, there were a fair bit of zombies and it was staggered out like the leech things you can go ages without seeing them <coughs> and then you've got um, then you've got the Baker family um, I like the Lucas fight I think the Lucas fight is pretty cool uh, it's that the birthday room thing where you've got to get out of that room and he's actually the only one that gets away, that survives. Um, then you've got Joe. I think it's Joe Baker, isn't it? Like he's kind of like your tyrant character who follows you around the game until you inevitably defeat him towards the end of it. Um, I I, th- I think he's a good he's a good character. I like I like the fights against him, the one in the garage. Um, and then the big one where you have to climb down the ladder and you have to shoot him from underneath and stuff like that. Uh, Marguerite, she kind of lurks around a bit as well. She's not as much as a stalker character as um, Joe Baker is, but he, she's quite annoying. And like when you try, when you go around them, she sends them flies and stuff around you and stuff. And then her fight is quite like you run around and you've got to defeat her. And I I enjoy that boss fight. Um, I don't. I'm not a massive fan of the bit at the end on the ship, but you know it furthers the character of um, Evelyn being this. Sorry about that. Um, Evelyn's like this character that... Essentially, she's just a child who wants a mum and dad. And it's quite sad. Um, it, it brought back the horror. It it reigned in the action and made it more horror-based. Um, which they then kind of... In 8, they kind of... Go back towards four, five, six action a bit. Um, but I really like Resident Evil Seven. I think it's a very good game. I, it's one of my favourites. Um, and so for me, I don't think it's good as a remake. I don't think it's as good as two remake. I'd even argue Resident Evil. It isn't as good as that. But then, is that just because of the iconicness of the game? Um, I kind of want to put it there. I feel like the S tier should be for like my ultimate favourite, so I think A is fair. Uh, obviously, I said it's not as iconic as the original, but it brings back the horror. It reigns in the whole action thing, as I said, like takes it more back towards its roots um, a lot of people say that until the end really if you were just given this game and you played it until Chris shows up at the end oh that terrible Chris oh god he looks terrible 
but until he shows up at the end, you kind of don't really know it's a Resident Evil game, and I can see the argument in it. I really can, but I just really like it as a game, so I'm shoving it in seven. In seven, in A. So just to have a quick recap, we've got remake. RE2 remake, then I go the original Resident Evil, then 7, then 5, 3 remake, 2, 4 remake, 3, 0, 4, and then 6. Um, and now we come to the last part of this video, which I just realised this video is going to be a bit shorter than the first part, and probably shorter than the third part, but... It is what it is. Uh, the very last one is Resident Evil Village. <clears throat> now, they bought back Ethan again, and people will be mm, the first person perspective. Oh, it's not a Resident Evil game. I, c I can see that argument, but first person doesn't really bother me. Um, and obviously, as you can see in the picture, they bring back Chris. Now you think, at the beginning, you think Chris is some bad guy until you realise that he essentially is, is basically doing what he did in 7. He's trying to mop up Umbrella's, uh, Umbrella's mess. He's still trying to do it. You, um, you do get a bit of the end where you play as Chris, which that is kind of a harkens back to the action because it is literally pure action. Um, again, this is another one kind of similar to Seven where it, it splits off the enemies. Uh, you've got obviously everyone's favourite because she was a giant goth big big boobed vampire and Lady Dimitrescu. Um that is that is, that is the second best part of the game in my opinion. Um you know going around you go around a big mansion again, you solve a few puzzles and you know you've got to get jewels and eyes and stuff. Um and then you fight her daughters, and then you inevitably fight Lady Dimitrescu as well, when she turns into a, a giant... I want to sound like a giant dragon. Yeah, I want to say a dragon. I don't know how else to describe her. Um, then you've got um, Moreau, who's got some weird blobby fish thing. Uh, his section is hit or miss. I don't think there's much to it. <sighs> Sorry about that. It's all this talking, doing too much talking. Um, I've nearly been doing this video for like well over an hour. <laughs> well, like combined. Uh, when I talk too much, it just for some reason I yawn. Um, but yeah, and then you've got. Um, Heisenberg, which I don't like Heisenberg section. It's just it's just robots basically, and then the boss fight against him is just yeah. And then, probably the best part of the game, the most creepy part is, and I forgot her name. I'm gonna have to quickly Google it because that will bug me no end. Because I, I I need to know her name. If it's an evil eight elements. Oh, so fast. Donna Ben. Oh, how do you say it? Where is she again? I don't know. Mm -mm, scroll. Uh, Donna Benviento and the little doll Angie. Um. Yeah. It's the scariest part. Like you've got the bit at the top where you just you just kind of you're just going around the house, aren't you really? You're just looking around. 
And then you go downstairs and you've got that weird, creepy baby thing that stalks you. It's just terrifying and it's there. It's there, the, the voice. It's just horrible. And it's like... It's the first time in a while where... You know, you've got that dread and that horror. They're like, oh God, where is it? And you're trying to get away and stuff. And then obviously you go... Once you do that, you go back up and then you've got to fight Angie the doll. Who <laughs> stab her with a pair of scissors. Um, the only other enemies in the game, really, you get them like... The ones that are in Lady Dimitrescu's castle. Um... And they're, they're basically people that she's experimented on. And you get the lichens, the werewolves, which... It just, it just adds a supernatural layer where it's not supposed... To, it's, I don't think it's, it's not meant to be supernatural. I, I wouldn't look at Resident Evil as a series and go, it's supernatural. Um, like again, I, it's another one of those games, like... If you tackle all the... Uh, umbrella bits out of it which are few and far between you wouldn't be able to tell it's a Resident Evil game but at least with 7 it bought the horror this just t- it turns it back into that action bit apart from the bit with the Ben of Benviento mansion thing there's no pure horror and you've got like vampires and cyborg robot people and fish people and it's like just, just rain I don't like I don't, like with nine just rain it back in again make it survival horror make it proper horror make it make it zombies again I would love zombies again Um, and the one thing that is really underutilised is Raccoon City. There's so many more stories you could be telling in Raccoon City. Because the only ones in Raccoon City, even one, is not really Raccoon City. You're up in the mountains. And then you've only got two and three that are really Raccoon City. Okay, you've got Outbreak as well. But that's only three games out of, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Out of 27 games, there's... 1... 2... There's 3... Set in Raccoon City. Sorry, 4 set in Raccoon City. Like... Bring back Raccoon City. Bring back zombies. And 8 just makes it too supernatural. It goes out there. And it's it's a good game. But it's not a Resident Evil game. And I will, I will readily admit 7 isn't a Resident Evil game. If you look at it in the context it's in. But at least it's a it's horror. It's survival horror. And it's a really good game. 8 just doesn't do it for me. Even less so than 4. And I'm not a massive fan of 4. So for that reason... Uh, for that reason, I'm going to put that in C. And I'm going to put 6 down to D. Because C, Village isn't as good as the rest of them. But then it's not as bad as 6. So to put them on the same tier, I just think would be unfair. So I've changed my mind. And I'm putting 6 in D tier. And... Eight can go in C tier. And that is where we come to the end of the mainline Resident Evil games. Uh, part This is part two. There will be a third part, which will be the rest of them. Um, see how long part three is. And it might, it might, might even be part four. And just do Code Veronica on its own. Because I could chat about that game for days. Um, but yeah... If you've enjoyed it, uh, subscribe to my channel, like the video, comment if you think I've got things wrong or if I've got things right, uh, ring the little bell so you get notified when the other parts are coming up, um, and I shall see you guys again next time. Have a good day, have a good, af- good afternoon, good evening, or a good night, and I shall see you guys next time. Bye.